and Jesus, Yahweh Shai, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. All right, putting the scriptures in context. The book of St. Luke was written by <coughs> Luke. Luke is a disciple. He's a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the ten tribes of the northern kingdom that were scattered. <laughs> and most people don't understand it and, and probably think, okay, he's a Greek and he's a physician. And, and that's true, he's a Greek, he's a physician, but he is also a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the ten tribes that were scattered. And people don't understand the context of the scriptures. And so... They think it's about everybody. That's why I have to put the scriptures in context because the scriptures are not written to everybody. And that's vitally important that you understand that. And so Luke is a Hebrew Israelite. Whether you want to accept it, receive it, or believe it or not, he is of the ten tribes of the northern kingdom that were scattered. The northern kingdom were called Israel, but when they sinned, Yahweh, the Most High, scattered them among the Japheth Gentiles. And when he scattered them, they were no longer referred to as Israel. They were referred to by whatever location where they were living. They lost their, their heritage, identity, as far as being called Israel. They were no longer called Israel. So they were re called wherever where they were living. So if they were in Greece, they were Greeks. If they were in Rome, there was Romans, Corinthians, Samaria, Samaria. They wasn't called Israel anymore. And so that's what people don't understand about the scriptures. And so they take them out of context to try to make the scriptures apply to everyone. But it only applies to all of the 12 tribes of Israel. It's not written to everybody in the whole wide world. <laughs> And if you don't understand that, you, you, you are going to be deceived. And that's why we have all these different religions, because all of the, the, the religions try to make the scriptures apply to their cup of tea, their religion. But the scriptures are not, is not a religious book. It's a history book about the chosen people. And so I have to say all that because that's who Luke is. He's a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the ten tribes of Israel that are scattered. And that's, he wrote, the, it's called after his name, St. Luke, the Gospel of St. Luke. And so Jesus, in the scriptures it's Jesus, but that's not the, the, the biblical Hebra Hebraic name. It's Yahweh Shai. <laughs> but when, you, when you're under Roman occupation, they can say whatever they want to say and do whatever they want to do. They got a hold of the scriptures and they manipulated and, and, and renamed people in the scripture. And the Roman Catholics are the people that have done that. <laughs> uh, and so they call him Jesus. That's basically a slave name. But his biblical name is Yahweh Shai. But we're going to go with Jesus. <laughs> That's what's written. He said, and Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, and he was full of the Holy Ghost. He had gotten baptized by John the Baptist. The Holy Ghost descended upon him like a dove. So he was endowed with power from on high by, the, by his father, Yahweh. And so now he's full of the Holy Ghost. And the scripture says he returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, into the wilderness. And so the Holy Spirit said, okay, it's time for your ministry. Well, you got to do some preparation. We got to get you ready because you can't do a mighty work before the Most High without being prepared. And so the, the Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness. Verse 2. 